it was a lot of stumbling around in the dark. I had this idea about the William Hoy story. I was working on it all alone. I'm a longtime writer. I'm a journalist for many years. So I thought, I could do this. I would write it up in a way that I thought, well, this seems good to me. And I would send it out. And I don't even want to tell you how many rejections I got. I found 12 by 12. And it changed my life in very unexpected ways. That's where I began to realize how much I didn't know. That's where I learned how a query was formed, how long the manuscript should be, what form it should be. It was such a wonderful opportunity to be able to share manuscripts, to ask questions, to get answers. Then I signed up in the golden category. I got to submit to an agent every month. I tried different manuscripts every month. And finally, after six months of intensively working, I had a 4 a.m. brainstorm about William Hoy, wrote a new version. I sent it to the agent of the month, Karen Grensick. Karen got back to me within the hour. She loved it and she wanted to represent it. That version of it didn't end up selling. I continued to learn in 12 by 12. And I revised it the following year and it was the revised version that did end up selling, becoming my first sold book. And I've since sold three more books. All of my books have been nonfiction stories about people i think should be heroes, but the kids don't know them yet. My next book coming out, Creston Books, is called Manji Moves a Mountain. And it's the story of a poor man in India. Everyone in his village has to climb over a 300-foot mountain to get to the village that has the hospital, the schools, the work in the field. And one day, Manji starts chiseling that mountain. And 22 years later, there's a path through that mountain. Another book that is going to be published by Albert Whitman, is making his shot, How Charlie Sifford Broke the Color Barrier in Golf. A fourth book, The Princess and the Tree. It is the story of how Princess Charlotte of Germany comes to England and she brings the first tree into Windsor Castle. When her granddaughter, Queen Victoria, carried on the tradition, that's when the Christmas tree became famous in England and in the United States. 12 by 12 is so supportive. It's not only what you learn about the craft, but to believe in yourself and to believe in your projects and to persevere. And I also didn't feel that people were competing with me or that I was competing with anyone. We were all in it together to help each other succeed. I just cannot praise 12 by 12 enough for being a wonderful resource for the craft, always being willing to answer questions, offering programs, workshops, wherever your need is. I could not build these castles without the tools that you gave me. Even Manji had to get that hammer and chisel, and I could not have done this without 12 by 12. Thank you. I am eternally grateful. Mm -hmm.